not 37. So question number 38 said, let, let X and Y be two sets, comma, such that the number of X is equal to 10 and the number of Y is equal to 12, okay? Then, and the number of X union Y is equal to 15, then how many, how many elements are in the set X intersection Y? Okay, solution. This is a very simple question. So what do we do? This is a very simple question. You should know a formula that says that uh, the number of X union Y Question number 38. Question number 38. Okay. Question number 38 said that the number of X in union Y, sorry, union Y is simply the number of X plus the number of Y, then minus the number of X intersection Y. Okay. So you should know this. So I've gotten this one and they gave me 15 is equal to. This one is 10 plus this one is 2 of them minus the number of x intersection y. Okay, so collect like them. This one come here, this one go here. So the number of x intersection y will now be 10 plus 12 minus 15. So the number of x intersection y is equal to 7. So that is that for that. So we move to question number 39. We are moving. So question number 39. So question number 39 said um, they said if x is equal to the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and y is equal to the set 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, they then say find x minus y and y minus x. So solution now x minus y means the, the element in x that you cannot see in y which is what one is not here three is not here five is not here okay so but y minus x are what the element in y that you cannot see in x so uh two four six only eight only eight so that is that so the last question for this video which is question number 40 the last question for this video, which is question number 40, said, um, question number 40 said, using, using the principal, principal of mathematical induction, okay, comma, prove that, that 1 over one point. 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3 plus dot dot okay plus 1 over 3 times 4 plus dot 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 plus 1 over n times n plus 1 is equal to n over n plus 1 okay so in the principle of mathematical induction we have five steps to consider we have five steps to consider the first step Solution. The first test is to assume. We assume we assume that S N statement statement is true. Okay. So how do you assume that S N? Then just say that S N is equal to repeat the question. One over one times two plus one over two times three plus one over three times four plus dot 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 plus one over n times n minus one. Sorry, n plus one. Then is equal to n over n plus 1. So you are done with this. So go to the next step. The next step is to prove. You prove that that S1 statement is true. So how do you prove it? So S1 is equal to 1 over 1 dot 2 plus 1 over 2 dot 3 plus 1 over 3 dot 4 plus dot 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 plus anywhere you see any now put 1 which is 1 over 1 in bracket of 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 over 
1 plus 1. So repeat this side. You now solve here. So repeat this side, please. You now have 1 over 1 into 2 is equal to 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 2, which shows that 1 is equal to 1. Okay, please keep repeating this side though. So once you have this, the next thing you do is to assume that SK statement is true. Assume, assume that SK statement is true. So what does it mean? Your SK is simply anywhere you see and put K in that same question. So I have 1 over 1 dot 2 plus 1 over 2 dot 3 plus 1 over 3 dot 4 plus dot 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 plus 1 over k into k plus 1 okay is equal to k over k plus 1 so the next thing is to assume you assume that sk plus 1 statement is true assume that sk plus 1 statement statement is true so what does it mean anywhere you see k put sk plus 1 so k plus 1 is equal to 1 over 1 dot 2 plus 1 over 2 dot 3 plus 1 over 3 dot 4 plus dot 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 plus 1 over k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 okay is equal to what k plus 1 all over k plus 1 plus 1 anyway you see k change it to k plus 1 so repeat this side plus 1 over k plus 1 into k plus 2 is equal to uh, k plus 1 all over k plus 2. So the last one, which is the main thing, is to prove now, is to prove that sk implies sk plus 1. That's the last statement. That's the last thing to do. So how do you prove that sk implies sk plus 1? Just carry the left-hand side of sk plus 1 and add it to the both side of sk then you are done. So let me repeat my SK. My SK, SK is equal to um, 1 dot 1 dot 1, 1 dot 2 plus 1 over um, 2 dot 3 plus 1 over 3 dot 4 plus dot 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 plus 1 over uh, K into K into K plus 1. Okay? Plus, now, I have written this one. So let me add this left hand side. I'm adding this left hand side. So this left hand side is what? 1 over uh, k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay? Is equal to, in fact, permit me to write it here so that it will be very long so that I will not manage the space. So I hope you have written this one. So to prove that sk implies sk plus 1, we start from that sk. sk is equal to. Uh, 1 over 1 dot 2 plus 1 over 2 dot 3 plus 1 over 3 dot 4 plus dot 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 plus 1 over k into k plus 1 plus I have written the left hand side of this so I'm carrying the left hand side of sk plus 1 I want to add it to the both side of this one so let me add first to the left hand side 1 over k plus 1 into k plus 2 okay is equal to now let me write the right hand side of the sk which is k over k plus 1 plus the same thing again i'm adding it to the both side the same thing which is 1 over k plus 1 into k plus 2 so now the next thing is just to be to for you to be solving this right hand side see you know if you get the same thing here once you get the same thing here, you are done. Okay? So what do we do? So let's solve. The LCM is simply uh, the LCM is simply the two of them. Okay, D is this one. The SM is this one. So let me say k plus one into k plus two. Now, when these two divide this is many k plus two. K plus two times k, I'll have k into k plus two. All right. Plus when the both of them divide this is one. So one times 1 times 1 is 1. So what do you have now? I'm having this time. This is what? K squared plus what? 2K plus 1 all over K plus 1 into K plus 2. All right? Now, if you solve the numerator, if you solve the numerator by quadratic equation, that is K squared plus 2K plus 1. If you factorize, you are going to have K here, K here, 
one one so i'm going to have k plus one and another k plus one then all over k plus one and then k plus two so this one will take care of this one so i am left with what k plus one all over what k plus two so the, which is exactly the right hand side there so it is proved so thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye